Palm Clementief gained international recognition for her role as Mandy's in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Some of her notable works include Hacker's Game, Ingrid Goes West, and Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1. She also had a small role in the Netflix series Black Mirror in the episode Hated in the Nation. Her talent and versatility as an actress has made her a rising star in the entertainment industry. With her captivating performances and increasing prominence, she continues to garner attention and acclaim for her work. Here are 10 things you probably didn't know about Palm Clementief. She is a French citizen. Palm Clementief was born on May 3, 1986, in Quebec City, Canada, to a French-Russian father and a Korean mother. Her parents chose the name Palm because it is similar in pronunciation to the Korean for both spring and tiger. Because of her father's job as a consul with the French government, the family moved around the world before settling in France. These experiences of living in different cultures shaped her ability to adapt. She told Numo, I think it helped me to adapt to different cultures, to different worlds, and to different types of people. And in some way, it's funny because I've always felt like an alien, I've always felt different. When I lived in Japan, my mother was Korean and I was mixed. I was also not like them when I was in Africa and I was not like them either when I was in France. I was always the person from somewhere else, like an alien, like Mantis. She went to law school for a while. She attended law school for a short period of time before following her true passion, acting. She told Paper Magazine, I respect people who go to law school and it's incredible, but I just did not connect to it. So I dropped out, and my family didn't want to help me financially anymore, which I understand, so I was selling clothes and at some point being a waitress. Eventually, she enrolled at the Kurz Florent Drama School in Paris and went on to win a theater competition that gave her two years of free classes with the school's top teachers. She actually fell down the stairs in one of her films. Her first professional acting job was in the French independent film Après Louis. The filming for her scenes lasted three days. In one scene, where she was supposed to push someone down a set of stairs, she accidentally fell down the stairs herself. Director Gail Morrill found that really good and decided to keep that shot in the final film. She went to great lengths for one of her roles. She had her first lead role in the 2009 film Loop, which centered around a tribe of reindeer herders in the Siberian mountains. To fully immerse herself in the role of Nastasia, Clementief went to great lengths during the filming process. She stayed in a camp located hours away from the nearest village and during extremely cold temperatures. In addition, she formed friendships with the nomads who lived near her camp and had the opportunity to work with real wolves. She also rode a reindeer and swam with a horse in a lake, all in an effort to gain a deeper understanding of her character. She's a martial artist. Clementief made her Hollywood debut in Spike Lee's Old Boy, a remake of the South Korean film of the same name. She portrayed Hang Bok, a fiercely powerful bodyguard of the antagonist. After hearing about auditioning for the film, she took boxing lessons. Once she landed the role, she trained three hours a day for two months for an on-screen fight with lead actor Josh Brolin. Her commitment to martial arts extended beyond the film, as she also studies Taekwondo. She commented to Interview Magazine that she feels stronger having studied martial arts. It's crazy that as women we are taught to be cute and nice and polite, when we should learn to be less nice sometimes. She received worldwide recognition playing Manthes. Clementief received worldwide recognition when she joined the Marvel Cinematic Universe as Manthes, first appearing in the film's Guardians of the Galaxy Vol 2. To complete Mandy's alien look, she had to wear all black contact lenses, which left her worried that Mandy's emotions might not be so obvious to audiences. She told Interview Magazine, she found physical ways to showcase how Mandy's was feeling, taking unlikely inspiration from the hand gestures of the Simpsons' devious Mr. Burns. She is said to have provided her voice for the French version of the film as well. She asked Tom Cruise to kick her in the stomach for real in Mission Impossible. Clementief played the villain in Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1. Her character had minimal dialogue, so she conveyed intense emotions through body and facial expressions, portraying rage and a desire to explode. During some of the climatic fight sequences, she asked Cruz to kick her for real to enhance the realism of their scenes, but the actor refused to do it. She told CBS, I know my distances and I know that if I squeeze my abs, I can take a hit. And that's you do when you fight, you know. Tom is so trained and so skilled and so good at action that he could actually do it if he wanted to, with a little bit of contact in action movies actually helps and makes it look more real. 
and it helps in the acting, too, because if he hits me a little bit, oh, my eyes are going to change and I'm going to become a tiger. Tom Cruise got her hooked on skydiving. In a July 2023 interview with New York Times, Clementiev said that Cruz helped her get in touch with her inner daredevil. Cruz gave her skydiving lessons after mission, Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1 was finished shooting. She said, I've jumped 104 times since October 2021 when Tom Cruise gifted me skydiving lessons as a rap gift. I love the rush, I love the precision, I love how sharp it makes me. When I jump off a hot air balloon very early in the morning and the sun is rising and it smells like mist, it's magical. It was her idea to dye her hair purple in Hacker's Game. In Hacker's Game, Clementiev played the role of a hacker named Losi. Due to the low budget of the movie, she took charge of her character's appearance. She did her own makeup, chose her own wardrobe, and even dyed her hair purple, initially facing objections from the directors. However, the directors were later convinced and allowed her to dye her hair purple. She has faced numerous personal tragedies throughout her life. When she was just five years old, her father died of cancer and her mother, who suffered from schizophrenia, was unable to care for her and her older brother. As a result, they were raised by their aunt and uncle, whom she described as a second father figure. Tragedy continued to follow her. Her uncle died on her 18th birthday and her brother later died by suicide on her 25th birthday. She got her brother's name tattooed on the inside of her left wrist just before the second anniversary of his death. She once stated in an interview that she misses him a lot and has decided to live for herself and her brother.